Rip Van Winkle, one. Once upon a time, there lived a nice and simple man named Rip Van Winkle. He lived in a small house in a village not far from the Catskill Mountains in America. All the people in the village liked him very much. Local children were very fond of him because he taught them how to fly kites and how to play marbles. Rip always enjoyed playing with the children. He also liked to tell them scary stories about ghosts and witches. The local children would follow Rip wherever he went and enjoyed playing tricks on him. And although Rip often had arguments with his wife, many of the local women were always on his side. Rip liked to go hunting. He would shoot birds and wild animals with his gun. He was also always happy to help his neighbors with any jobs they had. He would help them fix fences and care for their crops. He was very good at helping other people, but he was not so good at looking after his own farm and family. He had actually given up on his own farm. Everything about the place was completely wrong. His fences always fell down, his cows would go astray, and weeds took over all of his vegetable patches. It was the worst farm in the area. His children were also ragged and wild. But despite all this, Rip was happy with his life. But his wife was not so happy about their poor life. She often shouted at Rip, calling him lazy and careless. Rip just shrugged his shoulders whenever she complained. Rip's best friend was his dog called Wolf. Mrs. Van Winkle didn't like Rip's dog either. She considered the animal lazy. Rip's married life became worse. The more uncomfortable he felt, the more time he spent at the local pub with his friends. The wise old men of the village would all gather together to gossip. The local headmaster, Mr. Derek Van Bummel, would sometimes read to them from newspapers that had been left by travelers. But it was the village elder and the owner of the pub, Mr. Nicholas Vedder, who had the strongest opinions and ideas. When he heard something that pleased him, he would slowly inhale the smoke from his pipe. But if he did not like what he was being told, Mr. Vedder blew thick clouds of smoke into the air. One day, Rip climbed up part of the Catskill Mountains with Wolf to go shooting squirrels. By late afternoon he was very tired, so he lay down under a tree with his dog to rest. From here he had a beautiful view of all the countryside spreading out below him. He could even see the waters of the Hudson River gently flowing. Evening gradually fell upon him. Rip knew he would get home late, and he was sure that his wife would not be happy. All of a sudden, he heard a voice calling out his name. But when he turned around, all he could see was a crow flying in the sky. He continued to walk on, but then he heard his name again. Rip Van Winkle! Rip Van Winkle! A voice called out. Rip noticed that Wolf was scared and that he was growling. Rip felt nervous as he looked in the direction Wolf was facing. He thought he could see a person climbing over the rocks.